I haven't seen you for a while. How's it going? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you. I was That's very good. busy at some point, but yeah. I'm very, very well now. Have some more time. What have you got going on at the moment? Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign up for some design designer courses. Oh yeah. Yes. That would so be good. Excited. You wanted to do that, right? Yes, I'm very excited about that. Very cool. What else? Nothing. Not much. Enjoying nice weather. Just very happy. Mm. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. What's going on? Um, nothing. I'm not that busy. Kind of relaxed, uh, enjoying life. Have some trips planned and stuff. Mm. Do you have anything nice. planned, holidays or anything? Uh, this weekend I'm going to a music festival mm -hmm. and I was going to ask you to come. Uh, oh, I'd love to come. Uh, no, I was going to ask you to come and to take care of my cat. Oh, okay. Do you have free, some free time? Just a few times during this weekend to come and to cook for, it, for to Tom. To cook? Yes. You mean open the tin and like... No, 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 no. He's not eating that. No, oh. no, of course. He needs uh, you to, somebody to cook for him. And I was going to ask you. And I don't know, just spend time with him, stroke a little bit, you know, put him in the bed when he falls asleep. Can you do that? You'll like it. He's very sweet. Uh, you know, I'd love to help, but actually, I'm I'm pretty oh, busy no. this week. Yeah, I don't think I'd have time. Sorry, maybe. Please think about it. Maybe you can do it. Just a few hours a day. Oh, maybe I could, but I'm not sure. You know what time I'm free and stuff, and I don't want to tell you I can, and then your oh, cat's like waiting for I can ask you a favor. salmon and stuff, and then I'm not there. You know? Okay, never mind. You can find someone else. I'm yeah, sure. sure. Next time. Next time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to say no, and the you know these girls that put you in the friend zone that always ask favors and you know you're kind of chasing them all the time. The way to break out is to start treating them more like a friend rather than a girl that you're trying to date, and this is a way to do it. So it's the correct option here. Who are you going to the festival with? With my boyfriend. Ah, this guy. Yeah. Um. How yeah. how is that, by the way, relationship? It's okay. It's okay. Only okay. It's not perfect. Ah, tell he's me more. Very, he's very busy recently. We don't get enough time together. So I, actually I see him like once or twice a week. He's always in the office. Or even at, when he's at home, he's on his computer. So there is not much communication between us. So he doesn't really pay attention to you and stuff? Looks like that. Yeah, it looks like that to me. Probably his project taking too much time. But you know what? What you have to think about is maybe you would moan if he didn't have a job and you're like, oh, he's just sitting around the house doing nothing. And now you're like, oh, now he's working too much. So it's a bit like Goldilocks, right? You know, it's better that he's doing that than something else. And maybe be happy that he's passionate about his work and that he's you know, serious. Sometimes I'm like that too, just working on something and just get really into it. Rarely, but sometimes. Yeah, I mean, if that's, if that's his passion, of course I agree, but what about me? What about my passion? What yeah, about... Just wait for your time, you know? Your time will come. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting for something to come. I want to leave this moment. Maybe get involved in it. What is he, what is he working on his project? Some IT projects. I've got no clue about. Maybe, no, you know, try interested. and find out about it and share it with him. Say, so what are you, what are you coding today? So I need to be uh, smart and like tricky to get some attention. I don't deserve attention from him just because of who I am. Well, you do. I think just wait and see what happens. But it's understandable. I'll wait a little bit, yes. A few weeks, maybe. I'll wait. When a girl complains about her man, you actually don't want to say, yeah, it's so bad, he's terrible, you should leave him. So this is the correct option because you want to think about this. She's attracted to that guy for a reason. So do you want to be like him or you want to be the opposite? You know, you want to be a bit like him, but slightly better. So you can say it in a playful way, um, or you can say it seriously, but kind of taking his side is actually a good thing psychologically and will work. 
Anyway, let's change the subject. How are you? How's it going? Work? Yeah, work's all right. I have some, I have some interesting projects actually. And one of them didn't work out, but two are looking really promising. And if mm, something happens, it could exciting. be pretty big. Yeah. So I won't say more because you know what I'm like. I'm more action than yeah, words. So true. I'll tell you if it works out. And okay. oh. are you looking at this gun? Yeah. Okay, you got me, but look at her boobs. She's got this amazing yeah, She's very boobs, nice. Like, really she's fun. beautiful, she's got yeah. this sexy tan and look at her fanny there. You can kind of see the outline. It's just uh, yeah. really, really sexy. Imagine just quickly slipping it in. Uh, stop it. I don't want Sorry. to imagine right, that. But... She's beautiful, yes, but okay. let's stop talking about it. Let me just look a little bit more. Hang on. I'll pretend I'm drinking my coffee. This girl's just your friend. Why not look at her? Of course, that's the right thing to do. Why not talk about, you know, being interested in other girls? It's exactly what you should do if you're just this girl's friend and if you want her to like you more than she does. That's very annoying because guys always do that on a date with a girl. They're yeah. checking out other girls and they think cool. girls don't see it, but they do actually. Uh. And what's the problem with that? It makes me feel like I'm not beautiful enough, to be honest. No, there's nothing wrong with the way you look, and I think you just need to be more confident. Very sweet. Thank you. I'll try. Now here she's trying to bait a compliment, but you didn't fall for it, so well done. That's exactly what you should do, just a quick response with the facts. By the way, I saw your ex-girlfriend a few Agatha? days ago. Yes, oh. her. She was with a nice guy. Nice guy? That's yeah, nice what, one. Well, he looked good and... He did. And she he looked did. happy. And she did. That's shit. So they look happy to me. Do you still have feelings for her? Well, I don't want to be with her, but I'd rather she was unhappy not being mm. with me, you know, than happy with some dude. Right. And how about your love life? Are you still single? Yeah, I'm still single, but I did have a date recently with this oh. girl. Yeah, and yes. she was, you know, she's very pretty, but also she's just really intelligent. We had mm. great conversations. So only one date so far, but definitely want to see her again because she seems, she seems great, actually. Okay, I'm happy for you. It's not sexy to just let her think that you're chilling at home, playing PlayStation and, you know, never seeing any girls. So why not have a dating life? It's going to make you more attractive, make her work harder to try and get you and move you out of the friend zone so that she sees you in a different light. It's the correct option. Remember that you need to treat her just like one of your average friends. You know, sometimes you can be busy, sometimes you can be doing stuff. You want to move away a little bit so that she starts working harder for you. That's fine, you're not there immediately, but you know, you're still offering to help her. You're just not as available as you maybe have been in the past because you want to move out of the friend zone. So in your text it sounded like something yeah. serious is going on. What, how are you doing? Serious. Not very good. Uh, why? It's my boyfriend. We he's, broke he's, up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We did. Mm. It was actually the right time to finish our relationship to end it. Yeah. Um, three years yeah, after it's all terrible. these years. Yes, I thought he he was the right person to be my 
husbands. Mm, um, not now, right? Yes, not now. We couldn't sort out our relationship and I had to end it. Mm, that's awful. Yeah, so bad. Yeah. You must be really sad. I'm very sad. Mm -hmm. I'm very disappointed. Okay. Well, look, I've got something that might cheer you up. Hang on a second. Okay. I know you like wine, so I got you this, this mm. nice uh, bottle of Pinot Grigio. Yeah. It was like $12, so I think it's a good one. Yeah. It sounds good, yes. Do you want some? Yes, please. All right, cool. It's nice and chilled, so I'll just get a pour Thank it. Thank you very much, Richard. If someone's coming to your house to chill, then wine should always be on tap. If you don't have some alcohol in the house and you do drink and you're meeting girls that drink, then go get some. Okay, mm, take this. Cheers. Cheers. Nice, Very right? Nice. <clears throat> so, tell me what happens. We're going to talk about it anyway. Better to get it out of the way. Um, nothing special. Mm -hmm. uh, I just took a minute to analyze what's going on and uh, I realized I wasn't happy in mm. this relationship and I thought that relationship is something nice yeah. but it wasn't for me and it was the right time to end it up. Hang on a minute, so you ended it? Yeah, oh, of course. Well, that's worth the cheers. You know, I understand because it's hard now because you were spending every day together and it's like, you know, something missing from your life that was always there. But that doesn't mean that it was good, right? So it will be hard for you, but it's still the right decision. It and is. You I'm will sure. be happier for sure. So it's all going to be okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Of course, anytime. How about you? How's your love life? Oh, my love life? Well... I had some dates, but didn't meet anyone special yet, so it's okay. Okay. Correct, that's the right option. So I guess you haven't been home crying all day, right? You've been doing things to distract yourself? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. I was trying to distract myself. I finally had my yoga ah, classes. Yeah, cool. That's nice, relaxing yeah, and stuff. So meeting my friends for mm -hmm. coffee, friends I haven't seen for ages. You finally yeah. have time for you. Yeah. And uh, shopping. Ah, you were shopping. That's well, that's like the common one, right? Women when they probably yes, want to feel I was better laughing go shopping. at them, but like it, it really works, <laughs> you know. In fact, I got this dress. Tell me mm -hmm. if you like Show it. Show me. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the blue is your color, probably, so... It's gold, isn't it? Um, it's clearly blue. Anyway, do you like it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a, a dress expert, you know, I'll which is that. good probably for a man, but I think it's nice, yeah. Yep, that's the right response. Well done. Just, um, you know, quite matter of fact, but being positive. So tell me about that girl that you said you liked and oh. you had a couple of dates. Oh, Rebecca, yeah. Well, we had a nice date. Okay. Um, but then um, I kind of texted her like, hey, how are you? Let's meet again soon. Go for a drink or something. And uh, she didn't reply, but... I don't know, maybe she died or is in hospital mm. or lost her phone or something like this. The reason for that is because you're too awkward. Awkward? Sure. Me? Yes. You don't have uh, social skills at all. Moi? Awkward? Yeah. Let me, let me tell you something about that. What? What's that? <laughs> He's awkward <laughs> now, eh? <laughs> The how ticklish you are. You're so <laughs> awkward. Yeah. So embarrassing to be with someone so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> did 
this is actually a very good way to escalate things because it's kind of between playful and sexual. So it should be accepted by most, most girls. They should be fine with it, but it allows you to get a little bit intimate. So tell me, have you got anything nice to look forward to? Any plans coming? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. First of all, I'm going to Russia to see my parents and my grandparents. Abushka, I haven't seen yeah. them for ages. Back to Russia. <laughs> yes. You're going to meet Putin. Mm, hope so. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I will. Excellent. No. And then, and then when I'm coming back, mm -hmm. uh, I'm starting my interior interior design course. Ah, very cool. Very yeah, you excited. were talking about that for a long time. Yeah, been yeah. waiting. And now it's starting. Brilliant, that'll yes. be great. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, it all is. right, well, cheers. cheers. Uh, actually, the third toast, you need to drink it all. That's like tradition oh, in, really? my, in my family. Okay. And, yeah. I'll try. So anyway, yeah. Oh, come on. What's that? Useless. I have to do it, but it's only because it's my oh. family tradition, okay. you know, not because... You're you know. not nervous or something? No, of course no. not, but just for tradition. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you when you're away. Mm. You know that? I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> this is another nice way to escalate again you know it's a bit of fun and they're smiling and it's actually easier to go for the kiss when the girl is relaxed smiling and you're in this playful kind of situation This is so weird. We shouldn't do this. This is a bit of uh, psychology here because you can think that the possible objection is that she becomes uncomfortable, she remembers that you've been friends for so long, you shouldn't do it. Uh, so if you're the one to voice this concern, then she's likely to take the opposite tack. So it's the right choice, very smart, bunch of psychology at work here, and it works very well in practice. A bit more comfortable, maybe. This is the right choice. You kind of want to find a balance between moving really fast and aggressively um, to kind of being too slow, right? So carry on, escalate things slowly, uh, let her get comfortable and used to the fact, and also get her more turned on. Do you have a condom? Yeah, of course I've got one. I've got one right here. Mm, my shoe. Yeah, prepared. Yeah, my mum told me. <laughs> now, you don't want to break the action and the mood, so to speak, so make sure that you've got some strategic placements around the house so that you don't need to go, go far or even worse, you know, run down to the store to, to buy something. Can you help me with that? Oh, yeah, of course. There you go. You. That was amazing, but do you think it will ruin our friendship? You can try. This is psychology at work here. You're the one that voices the concern so that she's going to present the other argument and that stops her going home thinking, oh, I'm not sure about this, actually it's bad, maybe we shouldn't do it, and texting you that she doesn't want to carry on any kind of romantic relationship. So it's the right choice. 